Hello there. Well, these are just some of the hundreds of photographs that have been pouring into the Blue Peter office all this week. This is Chris and Leela. <gasps> no the photo was taken all. on the 16th of October 1958 and uh, Leela is uh, fresh from her triumph from the previous year when she was Miss Great Britain 1957. If you don't want a clown you can make a, a little girl like this and I've got a coat here which you could hang on it. And that goes on there as well. Joe doesn't get surprised by all this, I think. And of course, you can, if you want to, make things like uh, policemen, cowboys, things like that. And if you've got an awful lot of clothes to hang up, you could have a go at making an entire football team. If you went to the circus over the holiday, you'll know that no circus is complete without several clowns. And the other day, I visited Bellevue Circus in Manchester, not just to watch the clowns, but to see what it was like actually being a clown in the ring. We discovered afterwards that they were quite certain we were going to fall off. I wasn't too convinced we wouldn't either, but I managed to turn the horse in the correct manner, even if it wasn't quite as elegant as the real cowboys in the Charayada. All the same, they cheered Ellen Glazy, and I felt quite proud. That trust. Oh. <laughs> what have I got left? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty amazing, I can tell you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. Well, listen, if he carries on this way, he's going to have a full dress suit. He's so far got a pair of white knickers and a collar. Right, we'll see what else he can do. <laughs> oh, he sounds a bit angry. I hope he hasn't got the hum. It's <laughs> all... What's his name? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse! <laughs> Way! <laughs> Mickey Mouse, steady on. I promise I won't take the Mickey again. <laughs> And it's not just in bad weather that things go wrong. In fact, it's on sunny, calm weekends when most people come down here, and especially in what they call the silly season, in the height of the summer, that most people end up getting into trouble. That's it. Oh, isn't that marvellous? Jo, I feel so privileged. I not only feel my baby, but I've heard it and I've seen it. And the great thing is, of course, that all of this machinery is, is quite harmless to me and the baby, oh, absolutely, isn't absolutely, yes. Dr Annie, thank you very much indeed for sparing your very valuable time to come into the studio. It's been a pleasure, Tina. Cub Scouts all over Britain make a minimum of 30 cups of tea for their parents, friends and neighbours. And then the people doing the tea drinking give the tea marked on a, an official record card like this one. It says, excellent, good or poor. And then the Cub Scout, who can make the most number of cups of tea, gets an official champion tea-making badge. This was one of London's most notorious quarters, had an unsavoury history of robbery and murder. This highway was known as Ratcliffe's Highway, and at one time, running through it was the best way to avoid being robbed. This was bath time fun with a difference, washing Abdullah, a four-ton tusker, on my first summer expedition to Sri Lanka. At least we thought we were bathing the elephants, but we got just as wet ourselves. Yeah, she's feeling very frisky indeed this afternoon. She was 38 centimetres when she was born on June the 1st, and she's only grown four centimetres since then. But it's very, very powerful indeed, because it can pull. You can't sit it at all. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh! It's very, very difficult to stay on, as you can see. This is America on a warm evening in California, and 48,000 people pouring into the Oakland Coliseum to watch their heroes. Now, at a baseball game, you won't find any fighting in the crowd, no bad language, just lots of families having a great time together, enjoying America's summer game. These two rubbish bins are part of an experimental scheme in Leeds. It aims to tackle the problem of landfill sites and to make money by recycling materials locked away in rubbish. It's called Sort 4000 and the sorting starts in people's homes. We've already marched half an hour, it's about five degrees, hailstones, and I've got, what, five miles left? Please. Nightmare. <laughs> This is incredible. That tail is ginormous and it's just flapping in the water. And I just still can't believe that this is such a treat. It never happens. And, they, and this whale just won't stop today. And here it is, the secret hideaway of that famous international rescue team. 
Now, if you can find Tracy Island in the shops, and it's not easy, it could cost you as much as £34.99p, but this one is created entirely from junk. Not only have I got to wear seven layers of clothes on the top, a ski suit, two sets of thermals, a stupid hat and a scarf, I've also got to wear some goggles. Up at the top of the mountain, it's 110 degrees below zero Fahrenheit with the wind chill. We like to think of it as invigorating. <laughs> I like to think of it as cold. Hoo-ha, 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 hoo-ha. Lemurs don't speak chimpanzee. And that's all there is to it. Now, it might seem a bit far-fetched, but Dr. Doolittle's dream of actually talking to animals could soon become a reality. A new book just out has all sorts of useful phrases for chimp chat. Bimla here has been plucking tea for 10 years and on a good day she can pluck up to 40 kilos of tea. That's three basketfuls. I don't think I'll be quite up to that. How do I do it, Bimla? What are you doing here? Okay, so you just take the very newest leaves and in they go. Right, let me have a go over here. Here we go. But I'm trying. So once you've got the leaves, you just throw them like this into the basket. Now you place them. Obviously, you don't want them going everywhere, do you? So I think you passed the test, Morris. I think she's passed the flying colours today. Excellent, great to hear that. Well, you too can see for the future because on November the 23rd, she'll be going on the main line, visiting Hartlepool, Newcastle, Carlisle and Skipton. What are you looking forward to the most on Blue Peter? Well, when I first got the job, they said they're going to ease me in gently, but they were right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and already I'm canoeing at the weekend and I'm going to India and Ireland and I was boating yesterday, so I think the action-y Peters. As I stared straight into Spencer's eyes, there was no going back. Just keep looking at Spencer. Just relax now. Come to Focus me. And go. To me. Just walk normally. Keep Slow going. Down. Keep going. Keep you want it. I feel really weird. Just got to relax. Just got to relax. Don't fight the 120 miles per hour wind that's going to be rushing around my body. Just got to remember the rise and altitude. The rise and altitude. Check in with the guys. Arch. Reach. Recover. Come on, Simon. Oh, this is the worst feeling in the world. When you so desperately want to do something and you just can't bring yourself to do it. I'm frightened. <laughs> the truth be known, I'm frightened. But I'm, now I'm convincing myself that I can't do it and I can't. It was built so the Sikh community could worship at any time. It took three years to build and cost £17 million, all of which was donated by the worshippers. Will any of these be okay? Yeah, you can have the purple one. Lovely colours. Yeah. So I'll just drape it over and wrap it around? Yes. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. It's covering all my hair, yeah? yeah. When I put my arms out, I felt just like a bird. I savoured every moment and I wanted it to last forever. There is a lot of turbulence up here. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> That's better! Fantastic! One final drop and I was done. It's all about leaning back and having confidence in yourself. I've had a great day, and I'll definitely be coming back for more. My challenge is something I've wanted to do for ages. I've got to learn to free fall parachute, but not only that, I've also got to be good enough to participate in a formation skydive. Sounds like a great challenge, and I am ready. I got to the finish line because I knew there were people that believed in me. I put in a little bit of faith in someone. You've helped make this happen. Thank you. Ah, here we go. Right, so gold. It's a gift fit for royalty. Frankincense, something that soothes you. And myrrh, I think for this myrrh, it's obvious. It's got to be a picture of Oli Myrrh's. What's good about Oli Myrrh's is he has the ability to heal. 
with his wonderful dulcet tones, much like what Murr does, it's a healing property. So that's my angle here. The whole point of Blue Peter, and it's always been the case, is that you don't know what you're capable of until you try. That's what this badge is all about. I'm wearing the badge, so oh, fine. Go on, Barney! Go on, Barney! Go on, Barney. here and the people in that helicopter are actually unbelievable and do you know what of all my blue peter experiences i cannot believe how good that was that was ridiculous i'm genuinely buzzing i think i can see buckingham palace the great big voyager 200 feet long we've done it flying over the palace bang on time Happy birthday, Your Majesty.